All right, guys, welcome back to Cooking with Sut. So today it's gonna be real simple, uh, doing steak and potatoes. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna do some instant potatoes today. I didn't really feel like dealing with whole peeling and mashing my own or any of that stuff. So this is how we're gonna do it. I already have my bowl, water bowling right here. Let me turn you around so you can see that. All right, so for these instant potatoes, all you're gonna do is bring two cups of water to a bowl, add your packet in there. I've already killed the heat on that water because it's up to a boil. You really don't even have to bring it all the way to a boil and you can put it in a different bowl. Your The package itself says to do it in a separate bowl. I just do it straight into the pot, it don't matter. But I will show you how I doctor these up a little bit, stir those up, get all that moisture in. All right, so I doctored mine up a little bit. I'm just gonna throw a, about a half a stick of butter in there. Let that melt down a little bit. Pour in a little bit of milk, not too much. Stir that all in and then I'm going to So this is just how I do it. Y'all might not want it this way, but I like throw a little cheese in there. I'm out of bacon bits. I would throw some bacon bits in there and doctor them up real nice. But me and Brutus like to eat bacon bits as a snack, so we are out right now. Kind of stir it in, fold it in together. Get you some cheese all in there. I like cheesy potatoes, so. Maybe even a handful more. A little bit more. See that butter starting to melt. Just kind of fold it in, stir it all in there, make sure it gets all mixed around. And then uh, I leave these setting just on top of the burner where it was so that's pretty good let's try to get as much of that off of there as we can set that off to the side throw our lid on there so let me pull the meat out of here had it set and rest and today i did not do a marinade didn't feel like it it's just a salt pepper steak seasoning very little garlic in there just for a little extra kick, seasoned up nice on all sides, on the edges. Uh, we have our fire going outside. I'm gonna go check that, see how it's going. Should be just about ready to go on. All right, so we got our steak ready to go on here. Let's just throw it right on there. All right, so we're about ready to flip. So we can get these tongs out of here. Nice sear on the outside, some good grill marks. We're gonna pull this pretty, still gonna be pretty rare. I'd say a nice medium rare to rare. All right, so what you're seeing here on some of these little, the little black areas might look burnt. They're not really burnt. That's where the seasoning kind of cooked on there a little. If you see, I can take my, I can take my tongs and kind of just scrape all that off if I wanted to. It's just season where it cooked. Okay, so as you can see, the steak's ready to pull off. We've removed it from the fire, let it sit here for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on our very nice paper plate we got here. Throw your lid on there, kill that fire, and let's go back inside. All right, back inside. So I screwed up pretty big. I just realized, uh, put that stick of butter I'd already been using in the mashed potatoes. Grab my box out. Be quiet, Luna. Grab my box out of butter to put some butter on top of the steak, and we're out. So uh, it's no big deal. You don't have to put butter on it while it rests. I just like butter, so I like to do it. We're gonna let this steak rest for a little bit. <laughs> Get it here, I'll show you what we're kind of looking at right now. We're gonna let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll come back, slice it open, and let you guys take a look. 
All right, so we're just gonna cut this thing open, guys, just to give you guys a look. It's been resting for about 10 minutes. Just wanna cut it open and try to give you a nice look. Nice and pink on the inside. This side's actually a little bit pinker. Probably could have pulled it a little earlier, but we didn't. That's okay. As long as there's some pink in there, it's gonna be all right. And then let's get us some potatoes over here. Let's get them on the plate. Like I said, at this point, if I had some bacon bits, I'd throw it on there. You guys want me to just cut a little piece off here. Get a bite for the camera. Okay, right, so like I said, still nice and pink on the inside. Hope you guys can see that. My lighting, when the sun comes through here at the end of the day, the lighting's not the best in the world, but uh, that's a great piece of meat. Boneless ribeye. I usually get all my meat from Kroger, so we have a good selection there. Bunch of juice. I picked the ribeye because it's got the most fat. I like fat on my steak. Instant potatoes. A little butter, a little milk, some cheese. You got yourself a pretty good meal. You're ready to go. I'm going to go watch some football. Enjoy this meal. Hope you guys have a good time. I'll catch you later.